Well, as sweatshirts roll out, leaves start to change colors, and car shows come to an end, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that summer as we know it has passed, and winter is right around the corner, which means it's time to start talking about winter tires. And today, we're gonna go over our most popular snow tires going into 2021. What's going on guys and welcome back to Fitment Industries Garage. I'm Sean, SeanB.fi on Instagram. And before we get started, I gotta remind you guys to slap that subscribe button and head over to FitmentIndustries.com for all of your wheel, tire, and suspension needs. Let's get started. Starting with number four, our fourth most popular selling winter tire, let's take a look at the Nexon Wingard Sport 2. The Wingard Sport 2 is a great affordable option for someone looking for a winter tire with lifespan in mind. This tire is pretty average across the board with its snow grip characteristics, comes in a little above average with its wet grip a little below average with its ability to disperse water and excels in its lifespan ability. Lifespan isn't necessarily my main concern with winter tires as I've pretty well come to terms with a snow tire not lasting quite as long as a summer tire, but this is a great budget choice for someone looking for a quiet tire who would also be stacking on miles doing a lot of highway driving in cold weather climates. A set of four 235 5018s will run you about $636, making it a pretty damn good value for the money. Number three is gonna have to go to the Michelin X-Ice X-I3. Featuring Michelin's Flex Ice Silica Formula, the X-I3 is designed to provide flexibility for snow and ice performance when temperatures drop below freezing while simultaneously providing the firmness needed for increased handling and stability on wet and dry roads in warmer temperatures. The X-I3 holds a reputation for being a class leader in snow and ice grip. Now, I've personally run a set of these bad boys on my B8S4 in winter, and it genuinely impresses me with its acceleration and braking ability in deep snow. These are an absolute blast of a tire. The Michelin also has a fantastic lifespan rating and is guaranteed for six years or about 40,000 miles. Ride quality is what you would expect from a Michelin tire. It's smooth and comfortable, and road noise is nearly non-existent. Pricing for a 245-4018 comes in at around $888, putting it right above the middle of the pricing on this list. But these check a ton of boxes where you may find others on this list cater to something a bit more specific. This tire is a great choice for a daily driver that sees above average miles in a climate that sees pretty extreme weather from time to time. Number two, let me introduce you to a tire that needs no introduction, the Bridgestone Blizzak DMV2. Bridgestone uses their newest NanoPro Tech multi-cell tread compound in the makeup of this tire, and that's designed to act like kind of a sponge, for lack of a better analogy, to soak up water. It pulls up that small, thin layer of water that sits on top of ice and hard packed snow, which results in better traction on ice-covered road surfaces. An added benefit is that this compound remains more pliable in very cold temperatures, which means improved overall dry and wet traction. Now, this technology is actually only in the first 55% of the tread depth. The remaining tread depth uses their standard winter tire compound. I'm not entirely sure on the reasoning for this, but if I had to make an educated guess, I would assume that this technology makes for an extremely soft compound and would result in very quick wear, which is already some of the worst in its class. Now, I don't mean that in a derogatory way because the trade-off for grip on snow and ice is longevity and these tires are the best on the market for straight up grip on snow and ice. These tires are not something I would recommend for somebody with a long commute, but something I would absolutely recommend for someone who sees pretty extreme winter weather and likes to challenge the depths of unplowed parking lots. These are extremely fun and very capable snow tires. Now, these are the most expensive of the day, coming in at around $1,100 for a set of 225-6018s. Now, I can't call this one an overall great value because it doesn't check multiple boxes. However, if the goal is to get through deep snow and heavy ice, this is undoubtedly the best tool for the job. Number one, the Toyota Celsius is our most popular selling snow rated tire. I air quote a snow rated because this is what the industry calls a hybrid tire. Essentially, it just combines the all weather attributes of an all season tire with the winter attributes of a snow tire. You're looking at having an all season with a winter oriented compound and more aggressive sipes to grab snow better than your typical all season would. Now, don't get it twisted. This is not a good replacement for a winter tire if you live in a climate that sees above moderate snow. But if you live somewhere that gets a colder winter that sees below freezing temperatures and mild snow, this is a fantastic alternative. This is gonna be a tire that performs like any other all season wood in dry and wet conditions, while still providing the security of a cold weather and snow performance tire without sacrificing the lifespan. These tires provide a really decent amount of value at the price point as well, even for the name brand all season. So the $800 price tag for 235 4018 really is getting you a lot for the money. 
But that's about gonna wrap it up for the most popular winter tires. What do you guys run on your ride for winter? Do they make the list? Comment below, I try to respond to all of them. If you wanna snag yourself a set of any of these bad boys, head over to fitmanindustries.com for all of your wheel, winter tire, and suspension needs. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and tell your friends about us. We have a bunch of technical videos that you will not find on the Fitment Industries main channel. I'm Sean from Fitment Industries, Sean B. FI on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.